On July the 7th, 2005, Martin Wright was just another passenger on the London Underground until she sat next to a suicide bomber. I just had a white flash in front of my eyes and I felt like I was being thrown from side to side and I remember consciously thinking, what the hell is going on? On 7-7-2005, Martine Wright began a quite extraordinary journey. Her very personal story is inseparable from London's public preparations for the Games. By 2007, as London's often embattled organisers were bruised by budget issues and battered by a hostile response to the Games logo, Martine began to reveal her irrepressible spirit, learning to ski and fly. Then, in May 2008, as Boris Johnson became Mayor of London, the Beijing Games provided Martine a map for her own journey. I knew that I had to do something as a result of losing my legs that day, otherwise, to me, it would have been all a complete waste of time. So I was actually looking at the Paralympics in a very new light, in a, in a light of a disabled person, and uh, looking at it and thinking, my God, wouldn't it be amazing to do something like that? So I started playing for a sitting volleyball club. What I did enjoy about it is that you're not in your chair, you know, you, you, you move on, on the floor. It's a very dynamic game, very fast game. Martine tried out for the first GB sitting volleyball team. She was selected to play in the World Championships. In a chilling coincidence, they travelled to the tournament in the USA on July the 7th. That's when I sort of realised, oh my God, I could be on such a special journey. On, on, you know, I could actually end up at the Paralympics. The news they dreamed of finally came in March 2012. I just think back and I actually can't believe the journey that has happened and is happening now that I'm on. Um, you know, maybe I was always meant to get up late that morning. Maybe I was always meant to run up the escalator and jump on that carriage that I got on. You know, maybe I was always meant to do this journey. I don't know. I can't, I can't answer that. All I can say is that I'm just lucky to be living this dream now.